In this video, we're going to talk about how to multiply two numbers using something called area model multiplication. So let's multiply 29 by 8. So what I'm going to do is draw a box and I'm going to split it into two boxes. Now here I just have one number, which is 8, so I can't really break that down into two numbers. 29, I can break it down into the sum of two numbers, 20 plus 9. And so what you need to do is multiply 8 by 20. So what is 8 times 20? Well, what is 8 times 2? 8 times 2 is 16, so 8 times 20 must be 160. You just got to add the 0. And then we need to multiply 8 by 9 to get the next number. And so 8 times 9 is 72. And so once you fill in these boxes, all you need to do is add the numbers in the boxes. So we got to add 160 and 72. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry over the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And so our answer is 232. Now, if you have a calculator, type in 29 times 8. And if you do that, you should get 232 just to check your work to make sure you did it correctly. And so that's the basic idea behind area multiplication. Now, let's try another example. 37 times 9. Feel free to pause the video and work on this problem. So go ahead and use the area model multiplication to get the answer. So we need two boxes. I'm going to put the 9 on the left side. 37, we can write that as 30 plus 7. Now, what is 9 times 30? 9 times 3 is 27, so we just got to add the 0. This becomes 270. And then, I need to multiply 9 by 7. 9 times 7, that's 63. You need to know your multiplication tables. So now, let's add 270 and 63. So 0 plus 3 is 3, 7 plus 6 is 13, carry over the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. So the answer is 333. And then check it. If you type in 37 times 9, it will give you 333. Now let's try a harder example. Let's say if we wish to multiply 26 by 18. How can we do so using the area model multiplication. What type of shape do we need to draw? So this time we need four boxes instead of two. So you got to break it up like this. 26 we can write that as 20 plus 6 and 18 we can express it as 10 plus 8. So to get the information for the first box we need to multiply 10 by 20. 1 times 2 is 2 and then just add the two zeros. So 10 times 20 is 200. Now let's multiply 10 by 6. 10 times 6 is 60. And then we need to multiply 8 by 20. 8 times 2 is 16. Add the 0, we get 160. And finally, 8 times 6 is 48. So now once you have these four numbers, all you need to do is add up everything. So add up all the values in the boxes. So 8 plus 0 is just 8. And then 6 plus 4 is 10 plus another 6. That's 16. So let's carry over the 1. And then 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. And so this is equal to 468. And just to check it, take your calculator and type in 26 times 18. 26 times 18 is 468. Go ahead and try this one. Multiply 32 by 45 using the area model multiplication. So we're going to need four boxes. So it's going to be 2 by 2. 32, we can break that into 30 plus 2. 45 is 40 plus 5. So what is 40? times 30. Well, 4 times 3 is 12, and then we need to add two zeros. So 40 times 30 
is 1200. Next, let's multiply 40 by 2. 40 times 2, well, 4 times 2 is 8, so add the 0. 40 times 2 is 80. And then we have 5 times 30. 5 times 3 is 15. Add the 0, you get 150. And then 5 times 2 is 10. So now let's add everything. So we have 1,200, 150, 80, and 10. So 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. Carry over the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. And then drop down the other 1. So therefore, 32 times 45 is 1440. Now what would you do to multiply 132 by 43? How would you set up the picture that will help you to get the answer? Well, before we do this one, let's talk about the other examples. The first one, when we multiplied 29 by 8. 29 is a two-digit number, and 8 is a one-digit number. So therefore, we needed basically two columns and one row. So this is a two-by-one system. So on the top, you can see the two columns that we have. And we only had one row. Now, for the second example, where we had 32 times 45, or rather, that, that was the fourth example. I take that back. So here we have a two-digit number, and this is another two-digit number. And so 2 times 2, we need basically two rows and two columns. So this is the first column, second column, first row, second row. And so we needed a total of four boxes. Now for this example, the first number has three digits, the second number has two. So we need three columns and two rows, or you could say three rows and two columns. The order really doesn't matter. So I'm going to use three columns and two rows. So the first number has three digits, one, three, two, and the second number has two digits, four and three. And so that's how you can tell how many rows and columns you need. It's based on the digits, the number of digits of those two numbers. Now, we're not going to write it as 1, 3, 2, and 4, 3. Rather, we need to break down 132 into 100 plus 30 plus 2, because these three numbers have to add up to 132. And 43, we need to express it as 40 plus 3. So now, we can multiply. So what is 40 times 100? 4 times 1 is 4, and then we have a 0 in 40 and two zeros in 100. So we have a total of three zeros. So 40 times 100 is 4,000. Now, let's multiply 40 by 30. 4 times 3 is 12, and then we have two zeros to add. And then 40 times 2 is simply 80. Now, 3 times 100 is 300. And then 30 times 3 is 90. And 2 times 3 is 6. So now let's add up the six numbers that we have in those boxes. So it's 4,000 plus 1,200 plus 300 plus 90 plus 80 plus 6. So this is going to be 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry over the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. And then 4 plus 1 is 5. So our answer is 5,676. Now, to check the work, multiply 132 by 43. And you should get 5676. Let's try one more example. 243 times 362. So go ahead and try this problem. So we have three digits in the first number and three digits in the second number. So therefore, we need three rows and three columns. So 243, that's going to be 200 plus 40 plus 3. 
362 is going to be 300 plus 60 plus 2. So let's begin by multiplying 300 times 200. 3 times 2 is 6, and then we have 4 zeros to add. So the first number is going to be 60,000. And then 300 times 40. So 3 times 4 is 12, and then we need to add 3 zeros. And then 300 times 3, 3 times 3 is 9, and then add 2 zeros. And then 60 times 200, 6 times 2 is 12, and then we're going to add 3 zeros to that. 60 times 40, 6 times 4 is 24, and then add 2 zeros. 60 times 3, 6 times 3 is 18, add a 0. And then 2 times 200, that's just 400. Next we have 2 times 40, which is 80. And then finally, 2 times 3, which is 6. So let's add up the numbers. So we have 60,000. Let me just write this better. And then 12,000 plus another 12,000. And then it's 2,400. And then we have 900. And then 400. 180. 80. And then 6. So the first column of numbers is just going to be 6, and then 8 plus 8 is 16, carry over the 1. Now we have, let's see, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 9, that's going to be 14, plus 4, 18, plus 1, so that's 19. Carry over the 1, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6, plus 1, that's 7, and then 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So our final answer is 87,966. So let's definitely check that with the calculator. So 243 times 362 gives us that number. So that's the basic idea behind area multiplication.